Okay, Larry. Okay, Kev. Okay, Drew. I'm Finn. I'm here today with... Kev! Hi! I'm Kev! And... I am a, a, a Barack Obama, and I, uh, I'm here Yo, to watch Obama! He's been listening! Details. He's been listening! <laughs> no, this is, this, this is really... This is Drew. The, I the drew drawer. The drawer. He's got big ideas. Okay. <laughs> 99. <laughs> No, I need <laughs> big ideas. Oh, did you word. hear? Did you hear the reference that Reziel made to you in uh, the Mo commentary? No, I haven't watched that one yet. The part where Archibald's in the desert, Reziel is like, "I've got ninety nine big ideas." <laughs> we love you, Drew. Uh, Drew is so yeah. freaking talented. Oh, oh my gosh, he is. And now he's going to talk about getting into Tuba Warrior. So yeah, let's... it's a it's a good show. I remember when it came out and I got it. I was very small when it came out i, won't I was say about Drew, oh yeah drew's also a very old man i won't say my actual age but when it came out i was not able to drive to the store for sure maybe oh yeah <laughs> able to walk so i was like i was like six or seven. Oh, so you're i you're wasn't old. able i wasn't able to legally drive but i was three so i was old enough to drive just not legally so i did i was old enough to like roll over and like <laughs> grab my Larry plush and poke it in the eye type of thing but I couldn't like go buy myself a DVD. I do I remember was, probably 2000. Was, go ahead, sorry. <laughs> sorry. No, I was old, I was going to say I was old enough to tell my mom to drive me to the Family Christian bookstore. Well, there we go. I was I think 2008 my mom bought me this on DVD, but I acted up really bad that day. I was like an absolute brat and so she took the DVD and made me wait until the next day to have it and I was so upset. And then she sang, if you're willing to wait. Basically, yeah. Because <laughs> it came in the mail and I waited all day, but that was so bad that day. And she was like, okay, <laughs> you can have it tomorrow, go to bed. And I was like, eh. I deserved it, probably. Oh, look, it's the pirates. The countertop Burn. does look nice. We talked about this in Mo. Look how nice it looks. Yeah, it's very soft. And I like soft lighting. Yeah. We're pirating this broadcast. It's great. Also, this doesn't look very HD, does it? No. But that's okay. It's supposed to be 1080p. No. I saved it from the 1080p rip, but... Actually, we've been bored. Been bored. Maybe some episodes are just harder to get in high quality. We're convicted murderers! <laughs> I'm wanted in 50 states! <laughs> I'm saving my fancies! We, we should do this commentary as the pirates. Like, Finn is Larry, I'm Ooh, Todd, okay. and Kev is Lunt. Let's do it, I'm down. All right. All right. So, uh, this was fun. I wasn't expecting them to show up on the countertop, but they did. Yeah, that was really clever. I, I don't know why they did it, but they did. Uh, well, why why did you do it? Uh, well, I wanted to eat that day. That was really crucial to my survival. Yeah, so were... and I showed up. I showed up in my pirate outfit because, you know, it was a Tuesday. And I... Oh yeah, Tuesday, uh, Pirate Tuesday. What does what does eating have to do with this? Why were you? Were you I saw that Paul was also in his. Yeah, Pirate Tuesday. Pirate and Tuesday. Larry, Larry apparently, you... apparently you didn't get the memo. I mean, yeah. I had I had my eye patch handy, so I uh, you know, I was prepared. But then again, I always carry my eye patch, so I don't know. You carry a lot of weird things in your non-existent pockets. I mean, you say you say Pirate Tuesday, I say Pirate every day. Pirate Monday, Pirate Tuesday, Pirate Wednesday. No, 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 that ruins the speciality of it. No, no. Well, God made you special every day. Well, Pa, Pa, I, th I, think, I think Larry's talking about, like, pirating music. He pirates Ooh. music every oh, yeah. other day of the oh, week, yeah. but he Wiggle. dresses oh, as a pirate really? on a Tuesday. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I downloaded, I like, I seven see. different re-recordings of Fruit Salad, Yummy Yummy. Oh, hey, good song. song. Also, Paul, hey, those, those glasses, the wiggles, those look good. The Wiggles are deserving of every cent they can get, pal. Well, I paid them first. I got their permission. Oh, and okay. I sent them a check. So I, I guess like it wasn't technically pirating. Yeah, me too. Paul, those glasses look good oh, on Oh, I know that from experience, pal. I, I got them at J.C. Penney's for like a quick buck. Ooh, a buck? Have a good a eye class buck. for Are glasses so that I... good? I can't believe you got glasses that good for only a buck. Nice. Well, I, like I mean, it, it was... It was like like three hundred dollars, but that's pretty cheap for glasses. Okay, now now what was that advice? Wait till your friend's not looking, and then smile at the new kid. Well, that's what I did at grade school. Cause remember, I was held back for like twelve years. Yeah, but I had like... a lot of experience socially with other toddlers and kids and stuff. 
I kind of feel like that defeats the purpose of like you know being nice to the kid. You know, like you gotta you gotta show everyone that. No, you no, no! It's, it's the beginning. It's a start of a friendship. So you start. You, you oh, yeah. so it's like, it's like the it's like dipping your toes in the water. Like you're. you're yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I get it. Okay, cool. But I don't have toes. So. There's a reason they call you wise. Well, thank you. Do you do you want to see my toes? Oh, Mr. Uh, One's got great toes. Uh, Lun? Oh, not particularly. Uh, I'm, I'm still We're waiting very on my... Sweaty today. Uh, it, it's Tuesday toe pick day. Uh, on a Wednesday. <laughs> oh, my. What is that smell? Have you been bathing, Lunt, at all? Oh, uh, goodness. No. Oh. Oh, I... <laughs> he, uh, he dipped his toes in the water first and then took a bath. Oh, okay. That's clever. That's why it smells oh. bad. Bob is so done with us. He couldn't stand it. He was so grumpy that day. He was real mad before the recording, too. He was like, Larry! And I was like, yeah. And he was like, hurry up and, and get ready. But I was trying to find my eye patch. Yeah, he, well, he, the man has no patience. I, yeah. I, I, I tell him every day. your eye patch? Uh, well, it's a funny story. I was eating a, a cheese-flavored popcorn, trying to get over my fear. You know, it does get stuck in my teeth, but I was I was eating it in a more careful way. With my uh, my back molars that don't exist type of thing, um, and it was good. Um, then I got some caramel popcorn, and I got some caramel on my eye patch, and my eye patch uh, stuck to my back, and I didn't know where it was. And then I walked past a mirror and went, "Ooh, there it is!" Right next to your mole. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it was on top of the mole. Oh, okay. Now, was Archibald, the mole wearing the eye patch. He looks so good with those sideburns. Oh, how about my sideburns and my mutton chop thingies? Ah, uh, well, I've seen those before because you were uh, Seymour Grape. We do tend to see more grape in these episodes. I'm not gonna lie. Well, yeah, but like I grew more hair. I like I grew it out. Archie just put on makeup and and glued it to the side of his face. I actually grew it out like three months preparing Wait. for this role. <laughs> You're telling me that Archies aren't real? Oh, no, no, of course not. Look no at idea. That, that man couldn't grow a mustache to save his That's life. That's preposterous. Yeah. Archie has no facial hair whatsoever. That man cannot grow a beard. But now, me, this segment was kind of like... I can grow a beard. This one's kind of forgotten. I like the name Bristol Snoop. I like it. Like Snoop Dogg. Yeah, I, I um, forgot about it until you said something. What are we watching? We're watching the story of... Uh, uh, Big, uh, Ed, uh, Big, uh, Big Eddie and the truck driving uh, Snoodle. Oh, yeah. Right, right. Okay, I remember that one. Oh, look at that shot. That's a nice Force shot of my no eyes. eyes. eyes on the sparrow. The sparrow. And, and I, I know he watches, watches me. me. Oh, that was good. Yeah, I love the nice. harmony. Yeah, Somebody's going to animate us singing that now. <laughs> It'll be Jada Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie oh, Brown. Yeah. Slide to press the screen. Nice, pal. <laughs> Hey, hey, so, we don't talk. We don't know. Well, we do talk about that. I mean, be nice. We love you, Janice. Um, yeah. Annie's lack of glasses is, uh... Oh, that freaked me out odd. the first time I saw that. Yeah, you almost don't see her as Annie without the glasses. The no, glasses was... kind of make her character her character. Like you know? Uncle Gav Massick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I could see him without glasses, but not without a beard. Well, I can't see anyone without my glasses. Ah, I like it. I like it. It's true. But I didn't blind. recognize Annie you when I saw you, her. I thought it was a different kid. What? You're, huh? you're old. You're what? old. Huh? You're old. Huh? What? Yeah, so you can't hear either. Your, your ears, your eyes. I have Woo! no ears. Now she is. Wow. Woo! I'm Who sorry. Is that? I know I'm not supposed to like lust after another man's wife type of thing, but she was just acting as Archibald's wife, so I think it's okay. She's actually my wife, pal. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'll let you know I'm happily does, married and do not wish to discuss this conversation. Does that make Ellen available? Yeah. Or is she in the back room? Out of range. Now, how is Archibald sitting? That looks so weird. <laughs> oh, my. This? What is going on there? Why did I never notice that before? Well, the man, remember with Lord of the Beans, <laughs> he had that thing with the, with the bungee? <laughs> no, he's normally, he's normally, like, bit in half. But, like, instead, he just has, like, one foot in front of him now. Like, I've never... <laughs> Normally, when the, the asparagus characters, or me, sit down, you know. Also, foreshadowing, Revenge of the Staplers. Oh, yeah.
I love how he pops in like that. Archie's really good at popping through doors. So good if you know what? <laughs> so, Paul Graves, uh, his lack of eyebrows, his lack of, like, hat expression, and his lack of glasses movement makes him kind of, I don't know. Because, you know, normally he has one of the three. The hat moving, the glasses moving, or the eyebrows. But he's got nothing here. Well, what happened was, I, so when I grew my mutton chops out for the three-month process, I shaved my eyebrows and put it on my, my face. Wait. That was part of the process. Wait a minute. So you didn't grow them out? They're fake? Well, part of it was fake, but Wait. most of it's true. I smell something fishy going on here. Yeah. Well, that's your Me breath, too. my pal. Right. Pal squid? Uh, sure. Hey, let me have, can I, do we have duck sauce? Duck sauce? Ooh. Yeah, I like duck sauce with my shrimp and squid. I like when uh, Paul's mouth drops. That part's funny. I yeah, like I dislocated it for that one shot. Also, Jerry's <laughs> lack of texture in these episodes is kind of strange. Uh, well, Jimmy's costume is cool. Uh, uh, Mr. Lund, what do you think about Jimmy's yeah, costume? You know, you know how he does it, right? Oh, I don't know how he does it, but he does he it all right. Paint, he spray paints it on. The mustache? No, he spray paints the green... Oh, the, the... <laughs> I didn't know that. He, he just on top of his head. I do that to my nose sometimes. I think we need to teach Jerry a lesson about how God makes him special as he is. Really? Yeah. Because, like, somebody who knows that God made them special wouldn't try to spray paint their head. You know? And that's a good point. I, I know God made me special, and I, I do it on uh, uh, Thursdays. Uh, I guess that's true. Spray painted head Thursdays. Also, shout out to everybody with green hair. The kid with green hair, the dog that could whistle. We love you. Yeah, they're good kids. Grow your hair. We don't mind. Is on the sparrow. sparrow. And I know he watches me. <laughs> that one was shorter than I remembered. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you say, guys? Do we stick around for Gideon to a warrior, my shining moment, or do we go away and let Finn and Drew and Kev come back? Uh, we should probably take a break. I think we've outstayed our We've welcome. done so much I'm pretty today. sure George Mueller would want us to stay. I mean, probably, but he's dead, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, uh, what can I go on? Uh, we should bye. Go. Okay, bye. bye. I think it's a little too early to call it quits. What? But we just say goodbye. Short. Okay, you're right. You're right. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Where's the, where's the door? I can't. I can't find the door. Oh, I hate those guys. They're so, oh, they're annoying. so annoying. <sighs> they always step in just. Dude, to... I, I, I hate them except for one, and you know his dreamy lack of eyes. Well, what yeah, is your chair? What does your chair smell like? I know he sat in it. <laughs> Sniffing oh. the chair. <laughs> it smells like it's, cheese curls. <laughs> it smells like feet. Beautiful feet. <laughs> My chair smells he like raisins. Stood, feet, nonetheless. He stood in the chair. <laughs> <laughs> that for us to see. So George Mueller, very short segment, shorter than I remembered. Kind of like yeah. a five minute thing. I love that part. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Like, Who else can sing? And they look at the camera and turn their heads. I love that shot. <laughs> love it so much. What's going on? You're the, doing the the ukulele piece. karaoke. No? Is this the first appearance of headset piece? Yeah, this is the pirate. I or believe so. Piece? Probably. I feel like this is the first because they also showed up in the Operation Christmas. My favorite episode, Larry donates a shoebox. Um, Operation <laughs> Christmas Child. And do, then, do you have that in your thing? I don't. I don't have any of the shorts, but I will eventually because wow. I plan on doing a fun commentary, Kev. I'm going to compile like a whole bunch of like shorts and bonus features. And we're going to commentate on all of them. Promo the Wiggles! The Wiggles! Is that the Wiggles? You were waiting for that. The Wiggly, the Wiggly Australian. should have seen it coming. They look taller on TV. And here we go. How tall are the peas? Because, like, we know how bo tall Bob and Larry are, technically. Bob is three feet tall, according to the live right, show. So, so but the that's, peas that's the are, like, one foot tall? I guess. He's three feet tall, according to the live show. I think measurements are taken differently in VeggieTales world, because like, why would yeah. they measure? Why would they measure in people measurement 
you know? Why would Bob be like, I am three-fourths of a foot, you know? They have a... They have a different way of measuring, I think. That's my head Maybe, game. like, a foot to them is, like, an inch. Maybe, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Oh, look at her. They, look at her go. They were able... She's so cute. They were able to grow themselves up for, like, the grow themselves up they were able to like grow for the interviews they did with people like on tv and in cubo and stuff yeah, they, uh, the GMOs were they just drank a lot of milk yeah exactly or a lot of milk exactly lived across the street arrived there in the i love how bob mansplains he mansplains in, in case you didn't get it in case you didn't get it i like when they switch heads too yeah if they weren't things. if they were turtles that would be freaky freaky Finn that knows that freaky <laughs> oh boy <laughs> also did that paper stick to his face or did he catch it i think he i think he caught it uh, i used to think it stuck to his face but i think he caught it probably caught it you know with his lack of hands also that paper does not look like it was shredded and put back together actually the, the Wiggly Turtle Tubies is actually featured on, like, a... media. A what? You cut out. A what? <gasps> Y'all keep cutting out on me, too. Um, no. I said the Wiggly, uh, the Wiggly Turtle Tubies is actually featured as... Uh, it's featured on a list of Wiggles parodies on the Wiggles Wikipedia. Oh, really? Yeah. That might be a stretch. I... Yeah. That's, well, the colors that's... are similar. They had uh, a purple one, maybe. I think, I think that's a stretch. Mm -hmm. They're playing, like, Hawaiian music and stuff? I don't know. Yeah. I don't get Wiggles vibes from that. If they were, like, all it, talking, like, Australian and they were, like, a kid's band or something, then yeah. When I right. think of Hawaii, I think of Australians. That's true. <laughs> Me too. No, nah, that's When I think a, of Hawaii, I think of the Wiggles hit <laughs> album, Ukulele Baby. Ukulele yeah. Baby. Is that a real album? Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, hey, shut up. It's the real thing. Shut up. Everyone shut up. It's the, it's the big it's the big show. The Wiggles Big Show 1997? Hi, Drew. Hello. Hi. I like Hi. I like Jerry's texture being back. The Ten oh, Commandment yeah. float. <laughs> yeah, he spray painted it back on. If the Macy's parade wasn't secular. His hair and the, the color is like highlights. Like if you get your hair highlighted. That's what yeah. Like Jerry. yeah, kind of, yeah. Oh, oh, see how they name all those Bible places? I know. That, that's that because... Cool. Cairo! Cairo! That's that's where that's where John Waba's from. John oh. Waba. I always wonder John what... John Waba reference. I'm always so curious what Phil Vischer thinks of episodes like Gideon. Like, what does he think of the episodes that came after the bankruptcy that he didn't really work on? How does he feel about them? Does he care about them? Is he just kind of like whatever? Or does he like... Are there any that he's like, oh, that one turned out really, yes. really good? I meant to ask him on the podcast, but I I forgot. I think unless he was involved, like I guess we'll have to ask him when he comes on one of the commentaries, right, Finn? Oh boy! I I That'd thought about cool. asking him, but it's fan commentary, so it would be kind of weird because anything yeah. that he worked on, he already commentated on, and if he didn't work on it, I'm not sure if he has a whole lot to say about it aside from oh, that line was fun to record. But <laughs> you could it could be like a like. Hey, I'm interested. Why does this, to the why does you this never music saw. sound so familiar? True. I don't think I've ever heard it before. But what do you think he thinks of ones like this? I think he would like it. Maybe. I've never heard him talk negatively about them. I've never heard him say a single bad thing about a single classic episode. The only one he seems to have any strife with is uh, or grief with is the Netflix show. He likes the TBN show. He likes apparently everything from the classic show. Yeah, because his friends worked on it. He doesn't want to say anything bad if he does have a negative yeah. opinion. Yeah, but his friends worked on the Netflix show, too. And he was he was pretty open about that. Well, not, not very many of them, of them though. Yeah. yeah, I guess. Yeah. Ha ha. Yeah, that's ha, ha. You wanna come and get your ball? Can I have my ball? Turns blue. Why, why didn't he just take blue? it out? He could have just <laughs> easily taken it out of the belt. Because then we wouldn't have this great uh, blue scene. Hey, look, it's Jeff. He's purple. I love that YouTube channel that just uploads every clip from every cartoon where the characters run out of breath and turn blue. That's a thing? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, but this, it, this wouldn't feels be like eligible. Be. This wouldn't be eligible anyway, because he was purple. Shut up, nerd! No! 
Uh-oh. Nerd. At, at least I know my colors. I don't want to be your friend anymore. <laughs> no longer be friends with Finn. Check. <laughs> I like how he curves to match the tree. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I didn't know he can move like that. I didn't either. This is kind of in the same vein as like Josh and like Abe. It's, it's very, it's a little heavy with dialogue, but it's like charming. I like when he goes, that be you, and he turns to the screen. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. I know. You know, like hope on the the angeling for dummies book. Angeling for dummies, yeah. I don't remember what the title is. I can't see it. This may take a while. No, not really. And while there are many things I can do to prove I come from the Almighty, I must note that I can. I like his uh shoulder pads. I guess they look like toothbrushes. Yeah. <laughs> <Epilepsy>. <laughs> They're epilepsy. <laughs> I still can't read the title. Did you just say e oh, I love this joke. For example. For example. For example. Because this says E.G. Okay. <laughs> He's so done. He's like, come on, man. <laughs> to prove I am from the Oyster Bunny. Me and Kev, every now and then, we like to break into our Trump and Biden impressions. Yeah. We make fun of everyone equally. Yeah. They're both very We make fun of you, men. Drew. They're both very easy to make well, fun okay. of. That's okay. I'm very, you know, there's a lot to make fun of, so I don't mind too much. No. I saw a video. You can't, you can't really tell. What did he give him to drink? That's nasty. Come on, Larry. That's um, lemonade. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't look very actually it does look kind of good I'm not gonna lie the lemon yeah. slice but where's but where's blind lemon Lincoln I haven't seen him for a while uh oh, oh no he did he didn't care about no cookie and we didn't care about him that's right that's cute Can I, get one of those? I wish I had one of those I like the whole you know Paul came from heaven and talks about heaven like it's a place type of thing like you know. Like he knows God. Well, like Finn, a, you know. it is. Well, well, yeah, I know. In the like, story, but the way Paul talks about it, like he knows know. God, like a personal friend, and you know, well, yeah. they give out badges, and you know, well, that's a that's a theologic that's theologically sound, I think. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, God is a personal friend. You know what I'm saying? It's more literal here. Oh yeah, more it's like fun, it's fun more like Paul and God could like go to a ball game together or something. Gone again. Yeah. There we go. You're back. And I like that. I'm not trained in weapons of war. I'm trained on the tuba. Tuba! Also, the scream like a girl joke. Is that sexist now? Uh, a little bit. I find it more sexy than sexist. <laughs> oh. Like, I scream like a girl. But I, I like to look at intention with, with jokes like that. I don't think they were like, yeah, because girls are weak. It was just girls have a higher pitched voice and a guy like Larry would be embarrassed to scream high pitched, I guess. I think he always Infinite. seems like a girl. Who are who are you to say that? Are you a girl? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. Point. Uh, I revoke my statement. Don't cancel me. You're absolutely yeah, it's too late. Been canceled. Yeah, I know. Yep. Yeah, I know. Uh, I like the lack of stick above his angel. Drew, you uh, to take over as the new host. What? Wait, so y'all are going to take over my channel? I have to leave my own channel? I, I guess. Dang. I, I don't really know yeah. what's going on. Yeah. No, you're taking over. You're, <laughs> you're the new host. Cool. You know how. Wait, why am I the new host? Before Kev I'm not joined actually, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm the. I'm the new host, and and I love yeah, that. you can be the new co-host. No, I told okay, I better. told Drew. I told. I want to be the Ed McMahon. <laughs> I told Drew before <laughs> we uh, started the commentary that um, he could be my new co-host because you weren't there. But now I guess he's the new host and I'm gone. Yeah. Can I be the co co host? Well, you can the co host yes. Kev. You can be the cookie host. Or the cookie host? Cookies in a tree. I love the smell of cookies in the morning. <laughs> Real. I do too. <laughs> you do that really well, actually. Thank you. I've been practicing. The boys and I have been doing it every morning. <laughs> <laughs> when you smell cookies. I really like how fast the city got built. And I like the telescope. The telescope is very fun looking. I wish they had. Yeah. Telescope with the Gideon logo on it. That would be cool. Oh, yeah. they, ma they made a football. They should have made commemorative tubas. 
Understand. That would have been cool. <laughs> yeah. But if VeggieTales had just been a little bit bigger, think of the merch we could have gotten. Mm. Like, imagine, like, a hat, like a Gideon hat like that. If, if people were that specific, you know, like, like Spongebob. Yeah. Classic Spongebob. Um, there were so many little things that they, you know, merch profit off of now. They go crazy making merch off of the most obscure things that people recognize. I wish they would huh. do that with Veggie Tales too. Yeah. But do they make money? Yeah. Uh, yeah, people, people buy it. Yeah, people buy it. They'll make action yeah. figures based off of like specific screenshots from SpongeBob, like motion blurs and like, you know, yeah. like huh. transition frames that people found funny. Okay. SpongeBob goes crazy with merch. They do great. Larry's so cute eating popcorn. Yeah, a little, a little just dancing in his seat. So cute. System's kind of big. System's you know what this song reminds me of? This song reminds me of Uncle Kevin. The Kevin. Veggie Medley? Veggie Medley. Oh, yeah. I like that song. The great I am. The great I am. You can trust in the grape I am. <laughs> what kind of grape oh, am I? I? Like... I'll tell you. You can trust in the ham I am. The ham I am. You can trust in the prince of ham I am. I feel like a lot of kids, including myself, maybe I was just stupid. But I didn't get the whole yes, I, you are. Thing. I thought he was saying he was great. Uh, well, Pa's pretty great. He is great. Yeah. yeah. Like, I remember I didn't know the name Crazy of the song. Man. I didn't know it was called The Grid I Am. And I didn't know the name of the song Call On Us. So the sing-along DVDs, when I read the listing of the songs on them, I was so confused. I was like, Call On Us and The Grid I Am? What are those? <laughs> yeah, you were just stupid, Finn. Well, maybe. I also thought Frank and Celery was a door, so. <laughs> I mean, I think he is. And you, didn't, door. and you didn't think, and you didn't think that the actual door was. Oh no, that's right, that's right. In the Water Buffalo song, I didn't know what the actual door was. Um, I haven't gotten much smarter, to be honest. So, you know, it only gets worse. You got a little smarter, <laughs> probably. I don't, I don't know. Maybe not. I hope so. Oh, Billy Graham reference. Name drop Billy Graham like that. <laughs> I love how they put him with all these biblical figures. It's so silly. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> what were they trying to say? Were they saying that Billy Graham is God? Uh, yes. No. Veggie I say Tales. No. I think Veggie Tales was being blasphemous and we should sue them. Okay. That... And that will get Phil and Mike their show back. Yes. Larry's <laughs> towel is a little too low there. Something about his towel looks too naked there. Oh, you feel like his junk's hanging out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, kind of, yeah. Larry could still be. Uh, wait. I think I his junk. What I was saying now. I think Larry's existence is like his junk is always hanging out. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> Look at him sleeping. Oh, he's a little sleepy baby. I like his breathing. Pa's watching him while he sleeps. Because you're sure testing mine. My favorite Paul quotes in this episode. I like when he goes. Good that God's got patience, man, because you're sure testing mine. And I like when he goes, uh, Me, you believe, but from God, you need a son? Hit it. Bye -bye. There's, there's only trumpets. They're missing saxophones and trombones. Why didn't they build those for this show? It kind of works, though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. There's They're no trombones. Imaginary. There's no saxophones. You don't need them because you don't see them playing. Yeah, Remolded did it, man. Remolded did it. Remolded is, is on a different level. It's on a different level. I guess so. I guess so. I'll calm down. I'm sorry. Come on, Drew. Also, Veggie a big finish. Also, Veggie Tales is implying that vegetables are angels. The angels are actual grapes because God had an actual human hand. Because God is, you know, he built us in his image. So it can be assumed that God looks like a human. And God had a human hand in that song, but Paul Grape is an angel, and he's a grape. So they're saying, yes, God is not a vegetable, but the angels are. Which is also a theological issue. So VeggieTales, get it right. But angels come in many different forms. Even grape form? Yeah, sure. Why not? Apparently. I mean, there's talk about lots of eyes. Well, what about lack of eyes? I'm sure that's true. True, true yeah. Biblically accurate angels. Paul Grape. <laughs> Biblically accurate family guy. See man flip. Oh, that was really cool that they, they tweeted True. that. He got that noticed. Cool. The flashlight thing was funny. Yeah. Do we get to keep the flashlight? 
I was always so bothered, and I still am, that Archibald goes home. I yeah. Wanted, oh, no, he gets to the Yeah. Ring. I wanted him to stay. The, you should the, be the one who takes it the most seriously. I think the issue was the background characters needed to be background characters, and they couldn't be a character like Archibald, because you would expect mm -hmm. too much from him. A lot of copy and pasting kind of stuff. I saw that, yeah. Kind of scary. I want to thank each of you for joining our army. Well, he's so happy. Look at him in his little hat. Archibald's like the only unique one there. Look at him. So I guess I guess he had to get knocked out because he was too memorable. And also they needed a character with an iconic voice to go, Ah! Brain freeze! <laughs> Is that Nezzer? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Each one of them's Nezzer. He like he just called his whole family and it's it's just him. Like there's Wally, just, there's Nebby, there's the other one that have, probably has a name. Minionite? More like Minionezer, am I right? You know, Finn, if you look really closely, one of the Midianites is Ikebezer. <gasps> You're kidding me. <laughs> no, I, no not, I would have I noticed. Not, I, would I have do noticed. not kid. I would have <laughs> noticed. He would have been clapping. <laughs> he would have heard, get off my lawn. <laughs> get out of my tent. <laughs> Can we keep the flashlights? <laughs> Whose voice okay, is that? Finn. Was that Brian Roberts? I think so, yeah. The flashlight, yeah. I get to keep it. <laughs> He liked to throw Finn. himself into the show. I really like when he did the voices in his Finn. life ever. Well, well huh? Well, who? If, if, if Ica Beezer told you to get out of his tent, would you? Yes. Yes, I respect Ica Beezer's boundaries. But, but, but it's Ica Beezer. But if he was saying it ironically, because that was just his catchphrase and he wanted me to stay, I would, I would say. If he was like, get out of my tent, and I left the tent, he was like, I just, I just say that. I didn't mean it. Then I would go back. I was like I'm irresistible. Sorry. I want you to come into my tent, Finn. I just, I just, I'm lonely, Finn. Oh, <laughs> chills. I'd go right back in. Would you come up and Ever's... snuggle up next to me, Finn? Heck yes. Ever's... Grab Rooney. We'll snuggle in my 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 sleeping bag. Heck yes. Imagine hugging Ikebezer. That would be so nice. <laughs> I feel like he'd be sweaty. Maybe, but even better, you know. Okay, you do you. <laughs> <laughs> I love Ikebezer. Finn, I'm not even going to say you to you. I'm going to say you do Ikebezer. I will. I will. Oh. And vice versa. Now the peas fall down like Domino's. Classic. Like Domino's pizza? Mm -hmm. A little bit. Is it any good? I'm, I don't think I've had Domino's. Maybe um, I have one time. Really? I hear it makes mixed me sick, opinions. but it's I hear... okay. So many people say I that. I like it. So many people say it makes me sick. I get so many mixed opinions. My friends huh. from work are like, it makes me sick. But then the other half are like, oh, it's it's the best pizza ever. There is no pizza as good as Domino's pizza. People it's always come to me and say, people always come to me and say, Mr. Domino's, your pizza is just, it's the best. And I say, I know, I know it's the best. Did you ever have a hard time trusting God? Well, thank yeah, you, Paul. Trump and uh, Trump. I appreciate that. Oh, I have the oyster bunny. <laughs> What's the oyster? What is this oyster bunny? Is that a reference to something I haven't seen? Yeah, there's a video of Joe Biden, and I don't know if it's real or AI. I'm almost positive it's real, but you can almost just never tell anymore. Um, 99% sure it was real. He was talking about Easter, and he said something about how the kids need the oyster bunny. <laughs> he was like, but he said it like in the middle of a conversation, and it feels like something he would actually say. He was like, uh, he was like, uh, this Easter Sunday, you know, the Oyster Bunny's coming to town. <laughs> just kind of casually said it. I'll find it and send it to you. I love watching. I would love like, that. Our leaders gaff, you know. Yeah, yeah. Good, old, good old Uncle Joe. Uncle Joe and Grandpa Trump. And Uncle Kev. And Uncle Kev. Wait, you're a politician, Kev? Yeah, you didn't know? No, I didn't. I, I would support yeah, your campaign. Vote for me this year. My my campaign slogan is, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I, I like that. it. I like you, it. What are you running? What party are you associated with? Uh, the Green Party, because Larry's green. I like it. And he's my vice. I was recently asked what party I associate with for like some legal documents, and I was like, neither. <laughs> yeah, right. Does the Lord God commands i stand before you now or whatever he says i like the craziest thing i've ever heard i like that was ikebezer i like larry yes. tuning tuning it to the radio Thanks. with the trumpet that's a you that's a euphonium i think it's there's no actual tubas here 
the, the sousaphones, there's trumpets, and then Larry had a euphonium. You've so been small. hanging around Gore yeah. too much. No, I haven't. <laughs> He's been giving you music. You could never be around Gord too much. I was around him for three hours yesterday. He's been dang. He's been spreading his music nerdetry. No, I've been doing it on my own. I've been trying to figure out scores and arrangements, and been doing a little bit here and there. But did he just make a split P joke? Ooh. Oh, I miss that. I love that. I love a little Percy cameo. Me too. Percy, he's so cute and nerdy and stupid. I love him. <laughs> According stupid. to my calculations, I'm not. I'm not stupid. I'm actually smarter than most of the people here. That's yeah, why. But, yeah, I, but that makes you stupid. Well, well, well. Trust me, Percy. I'm old. I've lived for years. I know what I'm talking about. You're just a bald buddy. You don't got no fur. You're just a bald buddy. Burr, burr, burr. I win. <laughs> All right, you win. <laughs> don't make me Moby blast you. Can you help me walk across the street, Percy? Sure. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> I love that scream. <laughs> <laughs> such a nice kid, Percy is. I know. I'm a good. I'm a good. He's boy. such a nice kid. <laughs> but I can't he, believe he, he seems like such a nice kid. Oh Lord! He should have been in the Veggie Tale show. I collect action figures from the hit series, um, the Tim of Mars. Hey, Tim, of, Tim of Mars. What? Yes, Kev. Yes. I just remembered. You're the official voice of Percy. I am I'm the official voice of Lenny. We can't. Oh no, you're right. You're right. Mom! I didn't even know that was Percy when I did it. <laughs> he said, "Make a Percy-esque voice," and so I kind of half. Fun fact: I I did when I was recording for the choir. I did a voice that was vaguely Percy-like, but it ended up getting cut Ooh. because that harmony got removed from the, the track. We all made a vacation. <laughs> It ended Somebody. up being more lispy, and it was, like, weird, but I just wanted to do, like, veggie voices. <laughs> so like, as, voice. like, one regular, one veggie, but it kind of just, when it got all edited together, it mm -hmm. a little different. But it came out really nice. Looks like a big premiere. I wonder what's playing. Gideon Tuple Warrior's playing. <laughs> I wish yeah. we could find that. Also, we didn't even talk about how good this track is. Oh, it's amazing. I love Gideon. I wish they would release it. It's good. It Such on, a good like, track. Album. Me too, me too. Mm -hmm. We got, but then we someone found the um, the the, the 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 radio stuff, and it had the track. Did it? I think so. Oh, Joe may Praise have found the it. the Lord and the sword of Gideon. Larry got a lot like darker almost in his face. In his face. I never understood. Yeah. That. Why is he like? Got, now, he's no, like, now he's normal. Good job, Gideon. And they all know to part part the way. I got you a little he's tall, dark, and handsome. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Spongebob. And why do you say that so, like, Hail Mighty Man of Valley. said it so... So... <laughs> I don't know. You'll find it in the hotel. Like, in the Nance, in the night stand by your bed. The red words are the coolest. They're, They're the, the ones, ones that, that Jesus. Jesus said. Da -da 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 -da. Bum. Leminsky pick up. Da -da 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 -da. Bum. And then we sing the Muppet Show theme. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of the Honker Ducky Dinker Jamboree. Oh yeah, that's in there too. Da -da, that's da -da, called da -da, the, the da -da, Minsky Pickup. Um, come on everybody to the street called Sesame. There's something very silly that we'd like you all to see. It's the latest, it's the greatest, it's the only place to be. It's the Honker Ducky Dinker Jamboree. Bum, bum. Really it's the Honker Ducky Dinker Jamboree. It's the Honker Ducky Dinker Jamboree. That's a good Ernie. Drew, I... Drew is Ernie, confirmed. Why well, I'm not Ernie. Whoa. Sounds good. Sounds Thank really you. Good. I do it. I do a good Kermit and Ernie. Are you Steve Whitmire? Are you Arnold, Jim Henson? I know that I, I knew him personally um back in the day, but I, I he sadly um haven't ta uh, taken my calls. Wait, have you actually talked to Steve Whitmire? Oh no. I, oh, still I, no, boss I, Kermit. I, I met him actually at a con. Boss ooh, Kermit. Cool. Was. was it nice? It was nice. He was very nice. Very nice guy. He wasn't allowed to do the current voice, but he did and told us not to tell. <laughs> that sounds like Steve. Uh, should, should I cut that? He's probably fine. He'll be okay. Yeah. It's happened in the past. It's not. There's nothing to say that he's uh, doing what, it now. What Muppet haters Maybe I made that up. Uh, Maybe I made that up. What Muppet haters are listening and going to Brian him anyway? Brian, Brian Henson is listening. Oh, yeah. I forgot he listens to these. Yeah. Um, 
Somebody's somebody. probably going to think we're serious. I can, I can think of two <laughs> Muppet haters, but I don't think they'll watch this. I sure hope not. <laughs> Muppet haters no, we actually him, exist. We met him at a con, and yeah, we were like, yeah. can, you, "Can you do the Kermit voice?" And he was like, uh, "He was like, I don't know, uh, technically no, but don't say anything." And I said, "Say anything about what?" Nice. He was like, "Exactly, yeah." <laughs> so, but to Kev, to answer your question, there are two Muppet haters in the fandom. How? Yeah, you know, they're always there. They're always there to wisecrack something. In the Veggie Tales fan? Oh, 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 oh! Ha ha! I know. What uh, Statler, that. Waldorf. See, they got it. See, they're not stupid. They got it, folks. I love the Muppets. I had to get that. Cordy, he goes all squeaky, squeak, squeaky. The mocking puppets. Here's my, here's my, here's my Cordy impression. Ready? Ooh, that was pretty good. Ooh. Well, now it sounds like you guys are having aneurysms. <laughs> Is that speed? That's speed buggy. Hello, speed buggy. Here's my, here's my, uh, here's my Paul Grape impression. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I snorted. I'm sorry. Oh. oh yeah. That was my Paul Grape impression. Like pa, pa in a specific situation or just in general? <laughs> just Paul. <laughs> <laughs> and there do well. <laughs> Good line like delivery. <laughs> and he loves you very much. <laughs> if I can get the fun thing. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> He oh, look. did. David Pitts. And he didn't make it back. David Tim Hodge. Pitts. Also known as the number one got. Phil Fisher fan. Robert G. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> um, Brian K. Roberts. I love Brian Roberts. Yeah, I like Brian I, Roberts. When yeah. I looked up Brian K. Roberts, I always get like a baseball player whenever I, I first his, look him up. I found his Facebook. He's in the pig costume in his profile picture. Still. Oh, really? Yeah. Weird. Or his Twitter. Might be his Twitter. Yeah, I, I think it's his Twitter. Think it's Twitter. Yeah. He doesn't, he doesn't post anything, but um, he's in the pig costume from Little House. Oh, that's right, because they I think they did like a, a like a big idea did like a Halloween costume thingy. That was their uh, their fur suits. Their fur suits. <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Speaking and of Larry puppets, was a furry. Wait, what? Sorry. Larry is a furry. So is Archibald, and so are the scallions. Oh yeah, they've all dressed in fur suits. And according figure out! to that one animation, Bob's also a furry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, you're right. The what one made by, by a, an individual. Yes. Hair on my chinny chin chin. Archie worked on this. Archie Villaverde. That's his real name. Whoa. Archie, Archie. Villaverde. Master Laddie, call me Mr. Villaverde. <laughs> okay, Archie. Who are, these names are so cool. Um, Think about how many people, you know, have their name in these. Oh, I read SFX or something else. Um, I'm, think of all the people who have <laughs> their names in the... What'd you read it as, Finn? Uh, I read it as... Go uh, ahead, tell the class. It is. Remember what, our audience, um, Finn. Keep that in mind. Our audience? No, these aren't for kids. Oh. You think these oh, are good. for kids? These aren't for kids. Have you, read the, say... have you read the descriptions and have you, uh, looked at my channel description? That's Safe true. Fan. Plus, plus Can we say swears? Were... Uh, I mean, I'll censor them, but... Like with what noise? Like a tuba, probably. Oh, how thematic! Plus, I if this was it, if this was for kids, I'd have to edit out your comment about Larry's towel. Oh, I would. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't leave that in the kids' commentary. My description, actually, before this ends, let me read it real fast. First up, my channel description makes it super clear. Secondly, commentary description says. You gotta speed it up. You're running out of time. These are intended for an adult fan base, not always kid friendly. So, parents, these aren't for kids. Be mm. responsible. And also, my channel description. DVD credits. I love DVD credits. Bomb. Bomb falter. As in, somebody once told. Okay. Whoa. Bye, guys. Bye. Now let's go. Bye. Caillou gets the platinum. Card. Yes. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, that was fun. I enjoyed that. Mm-hmm. You know what? 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 Um, um, hold up. Let me look at my episode list. 